Here's a list of comments that BBC Trending found on YouTube videos of children. They're too shocking for me to show you, but many of them are graphic and sexual. Although the videos themselves were completely innocent, there are attempts by adults to collect personal information from children and request for them to remove clothing. These are a clear violation of YouTube's child endangerment policies, so you might expect that comments like these would be removed immediately once reported, but no. It's claimed that one key part of YouTube's mechanism for reporting comments like these hasn't been working properly for over a year so some obscene comments directed at children have remained on the site. The problem was first brought to our attention by a group of YouTube's trusted flaggers. They're YouTube's volunteer moderators who flag up inappropriate content. So we put YouTube's reporting function to the test ourselves. A few weeks ago, the trending team reported 28 accounts from this list to YouTube using their public reporting mechanism. Two weeks later, 23 of these accounts still remained on the site, but when we approached YouTube as journalists, they removed the remaining ones right away. YouTube declined to give us an interview, instead they sent us this statement. We take child safety extremely seriously and have clear policies against child endangerment. We have systems in place to take swift action on this content, with dedicated policy specialists reviewing and removing flagged material around the clock. They've since announced they will completely disable comments on videos where there has been sexualized comments directed at children. We took our list of comments to Anne Longfield, the Children's Commissioner for England. She advises the government on issues that involve vulnerable children. They're clearly, clearly inappropriate. Um, highly sexual comments around individual children on um, the site. Some very, very highly sexual wording. The sheer volume of this um, is over a, a short period of time is really very, very worrying. And uh, again, this is something I'll be asking um, YouTube to respond to very swiftly with reassurances that this cannot continue to happen. So if you're a parent, what steps can you take to keep your child safe on YouTube? What we'd encourage parents to do is to have conversations with their children about how to stay safe online uh, and for that to just to really be a regular part of the conversation they have with children. Uh, parents would ask children how their day at school was, um, ask about what they're doing online and if they've encountered any risks. If they have particular concerns, we'd also encourage them to get in contact with us. Uh, they can call the NSPCC helpline and we, we can walk them through practical steps to help to make sure that they keep their children safe.